Anarchism in Greece has emerged from occasionally overlapping but mostly diverse inclinations. It is often difficult to trace the connections of the various anarchist leagues and affinity groups, as they remained mostly underground. History 1860–1875 The first libertarian texts were published in Greece in 1860 and some organized anarchist actions started in Athens around the same time. Much was written and published by anarchists and libertarian radicals of that time, deeply influenced by the activities of similar European movements. Emmanuel Dadaoglu, his existence is disputed, a merchant from Smyrna, had probably come across anarchist ideas after meeting Italian political refugees, who first arrived in Patras in 1849 due to the War of the Two Sicilies. Together with Italian anarchist Emilcare Cipriani, founder of the Democrats Club. They organized a group and took part in the revolution against Otto of Greece in 1862. They put up a barricade near Kapnikaria in Athens. From 1864 to 1867 Dadaoglu lived in Napoli where he became a member R of the International Workingmen's Association IWA, following the ideas of Mikhail Bakunin. At that time he met Maria Pantazzi, her existence is highly disputed, a former prostitute, who became his lifelong companion. In the late 1860s he returned to Greece, where he died in 1870. After his death, Maria Pantazzi left Greece and died in the aftermath of the Paris Commune, at the hands of the Royal Guards, in 1872. The first anarchist publication in Greece appeared on 3 September 1861, in the daily newspaper, Foss, Light, issue 334. It's the main article of the paper, titled, Anarchy, Part A, by an anonymous writer. All the copies were confiscated a few hours after their release and a police raid was staged, forcing the owner of the paper to condemn the article, so Part B was never published. Libertarian movements also occurred in the Ionian Islands, with the names of Mykles Avlichos and Nikos Konominos saved for us. Avlichos studied in Bern, Switzerland where he met Mikhail Bakunin, and afterwards he returned to Cephalonia, his birthplace. He published some articles. Konominos, living in Corfu, was one of the first to use the term communism and one of the first to speak for women's rights. In 1893 he published a book in Italian called Ladri ed Omicidi Thieves and Murderers. 1876–1900 The seeds sown during the previous decade flowered, producing revolutionary organizations in many parts of Greece, such as Athens, Syros, Messenia, Aegeo, Philiatra, Cephalonia and Patras. Yanis Kordatos, in his Comprehensive History of Greece, writes, "...the anarcho-socialist ideas found ground to spread in Patras in my opinion, due to the presence of 5,000 proletarians, the proximity with the Ionian Islands and their radicals and the good communications of the city with Europe." Anarchists in Patras formed a collective called, "...democratic association." In 1876, which, because of the city's favorable position and its port, acquired close and constant relations not only with fellow anarchists from nearby Italy but with other European organizations. They tried to coordinate all the groups in Greece and to form the first Greek chapter of the International Workers' Association. A league called, Democratic League of the People was formed and in an article in the Italian paper Il Martello published in Bologna, Italy, was an announcement of the league's existence. Later on we will send you the general policies of the Democratic League of the People and the specific policies of the Company of Patras. Soon enough we will publish our socialist newspaper as an instrument of IWA. The following repression from the Greek state was in accord with a European state agreement, a fact that can be proved from several diplomatic papers. In the newspaper bulletin of the Jura Federation on 10 June 1877, Greece in its turn joins the agreement of civilized nations, those who are sleepless in taking measures of pressure in keeping the social order." In 1896, two new associations are established, one in Patras and the other in Pyrgos. The most active members were D. Badunas, D. Arnelos, D. Carabizes and the poet P. Sikoras. They translated various anarchist articles and later the same year they published the anarchist newspaper EPI Ta Prosa. 
forward with anarcho-socialist inclinations around which gathered anarcho-Christians, anarcho-communists, socialists, and even individualists. At the turn of the 20th century most of the urban centers in the country had an anarchist nucleus. At the same time anarchist Marinos Antipas, a legendary hero of the peasants' movement, was active in central Greece. In 1913, anarchist Alexandros Shinas shot and killed King George of Greece in Thessaloniki. He was tortured and murdered by the police six weeks later. 1915–1949 In the spring of 1919, Greeks in the Mariupol region formed defense units in reaction to the events of the October Revolution, joining the Makhnovshina. Indeed, 20% of the Makhnovist forces were Greek and, According to Arshinov some of the best Makhnovist commanders were Greek. Many anarchists participated in the socialist federation of Saloniki and later in the Socialist Workers' Party of Greece, which was to become the Communist Party of Greece in 1923, and which slowly absorbed most of the Greek revolutionaries. Many other anarchists were active in local workers' struggles that flared up in the 1920s and 1930s. Notable example is Konstantinos Speras, anarcho-syndicalist and leader of the Strike of Seraphos. 1969–1981 The new phase of the Greek anarchist movement started during the dictatorship of the Greek military junta of 1967–1974. Students returning from Paris, where they had taken part in the events of May 1968, getting in touch with leftist and anarchist ideas, started spreading these ideas among the radical youth of the time. In 1972, Guy Debord's The Society of the Spectacle was published in Athens, along with other situationist texts. Mikhail Bakunin's God and the State and Peter Kropotkin's Law and Authority followed. Black Rose Bookshop carried these publications of Diethnis Vivliotheki. International Library, which went on to publish books by Rosa Luxemburg, Ida Met, Henry David Thoreau, Murray Bookchin, Max Netlau, Jerry Rubin, and many others. In 1973, Electoral Strike, a translation of a 1902 French text against voting in bourgeois elections, was published as an answer to the junta's democratization process and planned elections. Anarchists were among the main actors in the student movement against the junta. Greek anarchists in the light of May 1968 and the Italian autonomist movement opposed anarcho-syndicalism in favor of direct class war. Their influences were the classics Bakunin, Kropotkin but also the situationist international and autonomist Marxism. They came mostly from communist backgrounds, disillusioned with the reformism of communist parties worldwide. They were against fascism, capitalism, imperialism, bureaucracy, racism, sexism and any kind of authority, especially that of the Communist Party KKE, which was projecting itself as the sole keeper of revolutionary truth. The turning point came during the student uprising against the junta at the Polytechnic School in Athens in November 1973. Anarchists painted, down with the state, and down with the capital on the front gates of the Polytechnic, took part in the first occupation committee, put up barricades in the surrounding streets, and fought battles with police and army for three days. On the night of 17 November, army tanks and police moved into the Polytechnic, ending the occupation and killing dozens in the process. Seven months later, the junta collapsed and a new, democratic, government was sworn in under right-winger K. Karamanlis. In September 1974, left-wing organizations including the GCP were legalized again after 25 years. This led to an explosion of Maoist, Trotskyist and Guevarist groups, which together with the anarchists were at the left of the GCP. After 1976, another libertarian publisher appeared, Eleitheros Typos. Free Press. Popularizing anarcho-communism, the Spanish Revolution, and dissident movements from around the world. The movement strengthened in the late 1970s, when many people left the Communist Party and a host of Maoist and Trotskyist groups who were strong in the mid-1970s and found themselves on the side of autonomists and anarchists. Rock music and hippie culture had a strong impact. 
The university occupation movement of 1979–1981 was largely instigated by anarchist and leftist groups. Near the Polytechnic, the student neighborhood of Exarchia became a «free zone» where leftists, anarchists, hippies, and others were in charge. In the riots of May 1976, masked anarchists attacked the police and public buildings, fighting on the side of thousands of workers and students. That led to arrests and the first «anti-terror» legislation. By 1980, the government's «anti-terrorist» campaign and the orchestrated heroin epidemic had begun to take their toll. An attempt to unite groups from Athens, Thessaloniki, Patra, Agrinio and Livadia in a federation failed. 1982–2001 The first generation of Greek anarchists were disappointed, and the great majority of them left the movement gradually, when the first Socialist Party government was elected in 1981 and in alliance with the Communist Party attempted to end the social conflicts of the 1970s. Isolated from everywhere, the anarchist movement took a downturn. A new wave of young anarchists, more aggressive and violent than the first generation, emerged in the mid-1980s, influenced by the punk subculture. Between 1985–1986, almost daily demos and clashes between anarchists and the police took place in Athens. Alpha 15-year-old youth, Macaulay's Kaltazes was shot dead by the police during this period and his killing caused huge riots in Athens and Thessaloniki. The government's reaction to the occupation of the chemistry department of Athens University made the oppression against anarchists almost unbearable, but the anarchist movement survived, and managed to stage demonstrations with thousands of participants in Athens. The attack by an anarchist demonstration on the hotel, Caravel, hosting a far-right conference among the participants was Jean-Marie Le Pen was also a peak in the anarchist movement of the 1980s. In 1989 the Socialist Party was again in the opposition and the Communist Party in the right -wing government. The 1980s generation faded slowly, and a new wave of anarchists appeared in the wake of the 1991 high school student uprising. The 1991 high school student movement was the most massive ever in Greece, involving about 1,500 school occupations and demonstrations of hundreds of thousands of people. The murder of teacher Nikos Tempaneras caused an almost general insurgency in all main Greek towns, with a 25,000-strong demonstration in Patra where Tempaneras was killed, which was followed by the burning of the police station and the town hall. The same day in Athens four people died in a fire which occurred during a massive demonstration. The civil unrest stopped only after the Minister of Education resigned. 2002–2006 In 2002, the anti-authoritarian movement, Antiakousiastike Kinesi, Antiakousiastike Kinesi, was established on the general lines of left anarchism and direct action. It is active mainly in Athens, Thessaloniki, and a few more urban centers. In 2004, anarchists opposed the staging of the Olympic Games in Athens because of the intensification of state control and repression. Since that time, many anarchist posters and pamphlets appear in two or more languages, Greek and Albanian and sometimes Bulgarian, Arabic, and Georgian, showing solidarity to foreign workers in Greece. The anarchist group Anti-State Justice coordinated several bombing attacks in early 2006. Topic. December 2008 On 6 December 2008, 15-year-old Alexandros Grigoropoulos, was shot dead by a policeman after a verbal exchange in the libertarian stronghold of Exarchia, Athens. Within an hour, anarchists, leftists, and sympathizers rioted and attacked banks, police vehicles and government offices in the area. The government's attempts for a cover-up and refusal to apologize brought thousands to the streets for daily clashes and demonstrations. The parliament building was besieged for weeks by angry crowds. Major violence erupted during one of the marches, with rioters attacking and setting fire to many public buildings, banks, and shops. Thousands of young people staged angry protests across Greece for a week, attacking police stations in every town. In almost every neighborhood of Athens and Piraeus, police stations, banks, and big businesses were firebombed. 
Notwithstanding violence emerged in every town, there have been commentators highlighting on self-organization activities in neighborhoods especially in Athens that emerged as the outcome of the spread of youth radicalism between 2008 and 2012. Overall, the "'December Unrest' as it became known gave a new impetus to the anarchists who were at the forefront of the movement. 2010 present. Anarchist groups organized and participated in protests against the measures implemented by the government to resolve 2010 Greek economic crisis that was precipitated by the 2010 Greek sovereign debt crisis. In April 2015, the authorities shut down IndyMedia's internet server at Athens Polytechnic, but activists forcibly reopened it a few days later. Certain anarchist groups and networks, in conjunction with activists affiliated to anarchist and libertarian ideas, during the beginning of the crisis, differentiated themselves from violence, becoming engaged in self organization activities. 17 November and anarchists The 17th of November is now an official school holiday in Greece, celebrating the Athens Polytechnic Uprising of 1973 against the military junta. Massive demonstrations take place in the large urban centers in memory of the dead and almost every year riots occur. Anarchists are usually responsible for inciting these riots. 1970s The first parliamentary elections after the fall of the military junta were planned to coincide with the first anniversary of the Polytechnic Uprising, so the demonstrations were to be postponed to 24 November. Many people were opposed to that including leftist groups and the Communist Party. In the end, two demonstrations took place, one on the 15th and the other as planned on the 24th. On the 15th, a text was distributed to the people arriving at the demonstration, which read, Comrades, salaried slaves, one year after the November uprising the counter-revolution is in full swing. Comrades, the November uprising made the owners and the aspiring owners of authority shake. Comrades, all the lackeys of state and capital ask us to be productive robots, passive spectators of our lives." And it was signed by the "...anarchist group of extremists." The demonstration committee declared that their position was different from the text and asked the people present to isolate the anarchists. On 23 May 1976, a general strike turned to violent clashes between left-wing workers and students and the police. For 12 hours all of central Athens was like a battlefield. A woman was killed when a police tank ran over her. Anarchists and others fought over barricades near the polytechnic. On 17 November 1976, the first organized anarchist bloc took part in the demonstrations. In November 1978, the rally was taking place in the Polytechnic. The government had forbidden the customary march to the U.S. Embassy. The police had a very strong presence, and before the march started, minor conflicts occurred. The National Students' Union of Greece declared that the demonstration was to be cancelled due to the large police force. Despite that, people went on marching and clashed with police. 1980s In November 1980, the atmosphere was very charged due to the killing of Assistant Commander of Police's Riot Squad by the Marxist group Revolutionary Organization 17 November. The march to the U.S. Embassy wasn't allowed to take place, but a demonstration took place on the 16th and anarchists took part. When the leftist, anarchist bloc reached Syntagma Square and attempted to march towards the U.S. Embassy, the police attacked with tear gas and smoke bombs. The demonstrators retreated, breaking windows of banks, shops and public buildings, putting up barricades and lighting fires. A small group broke into a bank and tried to break open the safe, with the intention of taking the money out and burning it in the street. The safe didn't budge. Other people were looting the jewelry and liquor stores. The police attacked back. After hours of street fighting, the result was several people injured and two dead, I. Kumis and S. Kanelapulu. The next day another demonstration took place. In November 1982, anarchists burned Greek flags and the wreaths laid at the memorial of the Polytechnic Uprising by politicians. 
Some clashes occurred. On 16 November 1983, the Office of Communist Party's mouthpiece Rizospastis was attacked and damaged by anarchists, in solidarity with the Polish workers who were revolting against Stalinism. After the demonstration on the 17th, the offices of the Technical Chamber of Greece were attacked. On 17 November 1984, a concert, against state repression, was planned but was prohibited at the last moment by the Polytechnic's rector. Massive riots started outside the Polytechnic. A text that was published after the event read, This gave food to the rags and those who think that the university is their kingdom. It's up to us if they will taste this food for a lifetime and burp happily or if they will throw it up and then crawl in their dirty unorgasmic party offices. In November 1985, clashes with the police could be witnessed from the beginning, something which could be explained by the following events. Few anarchists took part in this year's demonstration but when it ended, they broke into the offices of South Africa Airlines, as a protest against apartheid. The clashes continued around Exerkia Square and a 15-year-old, Makalis Kaltazes, was shot dead by a policeman. The anarchists occupied the polytechnic and the clashes continued until the police broke in. The same day the school was re-squatted and Stornary Street was blocked. Demonstrations and further clashes occurred with the police but in the night everything stopped. Leftists criticized the clashes and said that if the anarchists didn't riot more people would demonstrate for the death of M. Kaltazes. Probably the most massive anarchist demonstration for 17 November occurred in 1986. In 1987, when government officials tried to place wreaths at the memorial site of the Polytechnic, clashes started which escalated into a riot that lasted three days. Clashes also occurred outside of the U.S. Embassy. The anarchist bloc of 1989 was probably the smallest for a decade and after an attack by the police during the march it disbanded after some small clashes. 1990s In November 1990, anarchists gathered at the rear of the customary demonstration and attacked banks and public buildings. Minor clashes with the police occurred as well. At midday, on 16 November 1992, the Ministry of Labor was attacked with firebombs and in the evening a solidarity demonstration to the jailed anarchists N. Maziotis, N. Skiftulis, K. Mazokopos and B. Soros who were on hunger strike took place. It ended in clashes with the police around the Polytechnic. On 17 the offices of the New Democracy Party and two bus ticket booths were burned down during clashes. Twenty-six people were arrested. In 1994, during 15, 16 and 17 November, anarchists handed out leaflets, made banners for the occasion, and sprayed their slogans on the walls of the Polytechnic. On 16, around 30 people attacked a police bus on Canigos Square and two luxury cars parked outside the General Accountant's building with firebombs. On 17, while the officials were giving their speeches for the holiday, a group attacked riot police stationed outside the Polytechnic with firebombs, rocks, and flares. Later that evening a van from TV station Sky was destroyed. Notable Greek anarchists See also 2008 Greek riots Insurrectionary anarchism the Greek anarcho autonomoi Topic References Topic Bibliography and further reading Topic Books Topic Magazines and Newspapers <Bibliography> 